morning. Welcome to Quarry Farm Fridays with the Bluffton Library. I'm Steve. This is Tyree. Tyree is technically a red rat snake. And he's being shy. <laughs> red rat snakes are also called corn snakes because down south, which is mostly where they're from, they're found sometimes in southern Ohio, but typically they're, they're from the southern United States, and down there they live in, frequently live in corn cribs. And the reason they live in corn cribs is that's where their food is. They like to eat mice and small rats, so farmers actually like these guys. Rat snakes aren't poisonous. They're what's called constrictors. So they catch their food and they wrap their muscular bodies around it and they squeeze them until they die of suffocation, basically. Um, He's very active right now. He's actually halfway to a molt, to a shed. Because as snakes grow, they completely loosen up their skin, all their scales, and they slide right out of that. This if you can see it, <laughs> is one of Tyree's sheds from about a year ago. As you can say, as you can see, it's uh, a little over four feet long. Rat snakes, red rat snakes, typically don't get a whole lot bigger than five feet, which is about where Tyree is right now. He's about five feet long. And he's still growing. He sheds about once every six to eight weeks. So he, that's when he's pretty much gotten too big for his skin. He just takes it off. I want to show you his tongue. Except he's not very, he's a little nervous. If you watch him and you can see him, you'll see his tongue flickering out. They're not doing that uh, to scare anybody. It's, it's because they don't have a sense of smell. Instead, they use their tongues and they taste the air. Tyree's been with us for About five years now. He was quite a bit smaller when he came. <sighs> Snakes in general are cold-blooded, which means they, they can't regulate their body temperatures uh, like people do, like all animals, like all mammals do. Instead, they need heat from the sun and when they're in captivity, like Tyree, they need either a heat rock or a lamp. And that's something to be said also about Tyree. Tyree was never a wild snake. Tyree was born in captivity. He lived with a woman down south of Columbus, who thought he wasn't getting as much attention as he deserved. So she asked us to take him in so he could live here. Pets are, or snakes are, are frequently pets. People keep all kinds of different snakes. And Tyree lives in a 55-gallon aquarium with uh, lots of stuff to 
burrow into and climb up on. He's also what what they call a morph. He's uh, has a different kind of look to him. They they call him an albino. He's not typically what you'd think of as albino because they're white, but he is much lighter and his bands, these darker orange, aren't as dark as they are on the wild rat snakes, which are usually black and gray. But at any rate, this is Tyree. And to learn more about rat snakes, or specifically about, or generally about snakes, go to your library, check out some books, and you'll learn just how much fun they can be to have around. Next week, we'll be talking about the donkeys. And I'm thinking probably Anne will be back at that time. Uh, she's behind the camera this week. But we can take a moment, as we have in the, the last few weeks, and just take a quick look around at everybody else. Thanks for stopping in, and we'll see you next week.